I'm wearing a mask because there are a lot of viruses out there and I don't want none of that. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a virus. Yes, you heard me correctly, how to get a virus. But this is about the Pokemon virus known as the Pokerisk. I'm going to be showing you how to get it, how to keep it, and how to spread it. By the way, this channel also was responsible for spreading the Pokerisk in Pokemon Sword and Shield when that released. So this is a, a nice homage to the fact that we're doing it once again. Let's get into it. Just like Pokemon Sword and Shield, we need an origin story of where this Pokerisk came from. So from Jubilife City, I headed north on into a cave because I was thinking I wanted to get a Zubat to make into a Crobat. Crobat is a very fast Pokemon. It's got a lot of moves. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. So the first Pokemon I encountered in this cave was a Zubat. And I didn't think much of it. I just caught the Zubat, just happened to be that specific Zubat and got it in my Pokeball. I then started to make my journey up north through Floroma Town and then head over into Eterna City. And then finally, once I did make it into that city, I was able to go into the Pokemon Center because my Pokemon were pretty damaged at that point. I go to Nurse Joy. I ask her, hey, can I heal my Pokemon? And she says, would you like to rest it? I say, no problem. Sure. She puts my Pokemon on the stand. They heal up. I'm getting my Pokeballs back, waiting for it. She says, your Pokemon may be infected with the Pokerus. And I'm kind of mind blown at this point. She goes on further to explain that little is known about the Pokerus, except that they are microscopic life forms that attach to Pokemon. And while infected, Pokemon are said to grow exceptionally well. I then open my party and go through all my Pokemon. My Piplup, Cricketoon, Kadabra, Staravia, Luxio. Z they're all infected. And it's because of that one Zubat. This single Zubat was responsible for infecting my whole party. And it's a huge deal because to get Pokerus, it's a 3 in 65,536 chance or approximately 1 in 21,845 chance of that happening. That is much more rare than a shiny Pokemon. When you get Pokerus, one of the first things that you want to do is put it in your party so that it can infect the other Pokemon. The ideal setup is to have one infected Pokemon and five non-infected Pokemon. As you can see, I have my Zubat infected and I have these Bidoofs and Starlies in the party with it. Once in a party, battle a couple of times. You just have to enter a battle and run away. You don't have to fight and defeat any wild Pokemon, but if you want to, that's totally up to you. After a couple battle encounters, you'll then start to notice your Pokemon contracting the virus after you check on them. And as you can see here, the Bidoofs and Starly have Pokerus. And just just like that, I have spread the infection. Other important things is you need to be aware that in one to four days, the virus wears off. So in order to keep the Pokerus alive and active, put it back into your PC box. You can kind of think of it like freezing the virus so it doesn't die. This is why I made a full entire box called the Pokerus where I'll just keep all these active Pokerus Pokemon here if I want to spread it by sharing it to other people or if I want to use it on my own team later on. To know if a Pokemon is infected or not, it will have a circle with four spikes on it. When the Pokemon is no longer infected, but previously had the virus, you'll just see it with a circle. Infected and cured Pokemon will be able to gain times two the effort values than it normally could have had. For example, if you were to fight one Geodude normally without Pokerus, you would get one effort value of defense added onto your Pokemon when you fight it. If you were to fight Geodude with Pokerus, you would then get two effort values of defense. Or you can say two EVs in defense. I'll go more into depth with EV training in another video. Now, if you want to farm a lot of Pokerus Pokemon, the best thing that you can do, like I said earlier, is to have the first Pokemon be the Pokerus Pokemon and then go to an early route and start catching all of the Pokemon. Start encountering a bunch of Pokemon nonstop and running away. Each one starts to get the Pokerus. Start putting them into your boxes and catch more Pokemon. That way you can cycle out multiple Pokemon that have the virus and get new Pokemon in your party at all times. You're probably wondering, hey Philly, how do I get the Pokerus? And my friends, here is the easiest way to get it. All you guys have to do is join the Philly Beats You Discord server. I have a chat specifically labeled Pokerus so you guys can come in here and get the infection from me. 
who knows maybe you in the video will be one of the first ones to get it and then we will start to spread the pokeris throughout this chat it's going to be popping off so make sure you're here on the server to get your pokeris you also got other chats where you can trade do some version exclusive trade do some underground adventuring with friends as well as getting help to complete your pokedex so there's a lot of stuff happening in this discord so make sure to come through and check it out and with that being said i hope everyone enjoyed this video and gets your pokeris leave a like for getting a pokeris because you will if you like this video and come to the discord so do it if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe for some more amazing videos like this and i will see you guys in the next pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl video this is philly beats you and i'm out